Hello everybody, and welcome back to this let's play of Xenonauts. This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur here. And so we're just going to continue with our... <coughs> with where we left off. And so right now, uh, so this is my second base, and there's five days left before the uh, command center is finished, and I can continue to uh, expand this new base, which is in uh, Central America. And so, I have three soldiers who are currently wounded and they are recovering. And so we'll just wait for them to recover. And so, while that's happening, we'll just... Uh, yeah, so we'll just fast forward the time. Oh, UFO. Okay, so what is this? It's a small one. Well, okay. Uh, it's a scout, so it's it's the same as the one that we encountered in the previous episode, and uh, so this is this this is a much tougher version of the uh, small scout. So that's I think we'll auto resolve because you know if I were to engage it manually, I think it will most likely end up with me maybe losing one interceptor, so I, I'm not going to risk that, I just want to uh, get this, uh, you know, down this UFO's best, uh, you know, with the auto resolve. Okay, and so we'll return to base. Squadron 1, actually Okay, let's hope that there's no fighters that will be sent against this uh, dropship because in the past I have encountered uh, alien fighters that uh, you know sort of come out when I send my dropship and they and then they're very fast and then compared to my dropship and what happens is that when I send my dropship to intercept a crashed UFO uh, they will just come along and, and take out my dropship and destroy everyone and kill everyone on board so. Let's hope that that does not happen. So here's the mission area. Okay, so it extends from. All right, so it extends that way and that way. All right. <laughs> Tristan Bryanson, you're up first. And by the way guys, I do have a bit of a cold, I, which I caught sometime, a few days ago, so I'm still recovering from that, so if my voice sounds a bit croaky, <laughs> um, then yeah, that's because I've got a cold, so um, but I'll do my best to do my commentary. Okay, so uh, wish we send you not to your death, <laughs> we, we need you, you're one of the best soldiers that we have. Uh, okay. Okay. 
it's a bit of a it's not a very good area uh, as in it's very dangerous it's because it's a lot of areas where the alien can flank our soldiers uh, so we've got to find a place where yeah well wow, this is going to be a bit challenging but I like a challenge so okay I think what we'll do is uh, So let's secure the area, at least this area where our dropship is, and so let's uh, Put the medic <laughs> square in between the uh, assault squad. Okay. Okay, so hopefully we won't get any aliens firing on our soldiers this turn, so in the end of turn, so let's let's do this and the aliens firing away and who are they picking on? <laughs> picking on Anna Horakova again seems like the aliens like to pick on her for some reason in the previous mission uh, oh no, actually they're picking on Ken Chan Okay, so <coughs> so the aliens are. I think they might be picking on him in this mission, and I d I do not like the fact that they can just simply use psionic attacks on my soldiers um, without line of sight. I feel that that is a bit of a. Well, it was in UFO Enemy Unknown, so, but uh, I always feel that it's a bit un bit unfair that they can do this without even having line of sight to my soldiers. Um, but anyway, let's send a medic. Oh, okay. So, do I have a clear shot? No, it's blocked. Uh, all right. I 
Maybe I'll send my sniper. So I do not have a clear shot. Uh, so the aliens here. Okay, I'm a bit concerned because if I send my soldiers to here, then uh, if there's an alien that comes around here, then they can uh, take sh pot shots at my soldiers, which is not going to be, which is not going to be good. So, hmm. Very, very challenging indeed. Uh, I feel that's... No. <laughs> Better not. Yeah, it's blocked. So, so I can shoot, but it's going to be blocked, so it's not going to be very accurate. Uh, um, Alright, how about... Okay, I think what I'll do is... Okay, so I do have a 74% hit, chance to hit. Okay, so let's take a shot and hopefully it, it goes well. Nope, <laughs> it's a miss. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna, gonna try and storm his position here in the next turn. Uh, in the meantime, uh, okay, I think we'll get the assault squad and the scout squad to work together. And so let's, yeah. So how should we do this?
Okay, someone died. Yep, alien took a shot. Killed the civilian. And... Okay, things are not looking good. The civilians are high priority. Oh, seems like the police officer took a shot and got the alien. So let's... Okay, there you are. <laughs> oh, it's a miss again. <laughs> Okay, so it seems, seems like the aliens, they <coughs> go for random soldiers, they don't just pick on one. Which is, uh, which is a, comfort, a bit of a comfort for me, I guess. Um, knowing that they don't just target a specific soldier, but they do go after random soldiers, in, in I guess, uh, from what I see. Ha <laughs> 
Yep, that's what I like. Three bursts. Good job. <laughs> Got him. So let's take a kneel. So let's find the alien craft and we'll try and secure it for 10 I think it's 5 turns or something, yeah. So we'll try and secure it for 5 turns and end this mission. Get her and done with. Oh, someone's firing at us. Okay, did anyone lose health? Is everyone okay? Yep, seems like everyone's alright. Who is firing at us? Curious. <laughs> Clearly, someone's firing at us because. Wonder who it is. Okay, so it's not coming from there. Okay, I think the best thing to do is uh, get ourselves into cover. Okay, might be an alien that's hiding around the corner. So let's <laughs> let's do the same.
Oh no. <laughs> Albert has panicked. So where is Albert? Okay, so he's panicked. Did he drop anything? Okay, no he didn't. Ah, so there's the alien aircraft. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing that they've been firing out from here. Okay, let's set this up. Medic in the middle. Oh, okay. So that's that's probably the alien that's been firing at us. So let's go back. <laughs> yeah, you know, even turn-based games like this. Uh, you always feel that uh, danger and uncertainty, which is what I, which is part of the reason why I like games like this. It really brings out that suspense and. Okay. All right, we're clear. Oh, <laughs> 